Here we got the continuation of Paige's live stream conducted on Monday, May 20, 2024. Let's begin. Now, remember the discharge date, people. Recall the discharge date, okay? Go look at Texas Girls. Go ahead and look at Texas Girls um, uh, creator spotlight and the date. The date is February 20th, okay? February 20th. So I'm going to play this for you real quick. I just want you to listen. Everybody wants to know, and we all would love to know, how is your daughter? She's doing, she's doing a whole lot better. She is at home. We came home yesterday. Um, she has to wear a cast for six weeks on her, on her wrist. Um, and, you know, she had a little laparoscopic surgery from when they uh, removed her spleen. Yeah. But other than that, she, yeah, I mean, she was up and down a lot last night, but she's making it. She's making it. <laughs> so, to, let's, let's be clear on that, okay? So, with Texas Girls video being on the 20th, right? Why would the discharge date on that paperwork say the 21st? Let me just show that again. For those that may have missed it, this is what was given to us, okay? All is stated, and I'll even, you know what? I'll even go to Texas Girls freaking page and show y'all what date that live stream was on. She clearly said she came home yesterday, okay? And that would have been the 19th, not the 21st. She also posted in Discord that her daughter was coming home on the 19th. However, this says February 20th that Flavor was on panel telling everybody that her daughter was all right and um, that she came home yesterday. I'm here to do exactly what I do. If we're going to be claiming we don't stand for people that scam and we don't, we stand for, for what's right. We stand up for what's right, right? You don't have to ask for donations to, for it to still be a scam, correct? Yeah, let's be clear on that. None of this, none of this, we wouldn't be here if we weren't giving bullshit, giving bullshit paperwork instead of just logging in. If your records are under the other one, right? It, they're under yours. Log in. Show me. Prove me I'm wrong. And I will gladly take back absolutely everything that I said. This is the exact same thing that we don't allow. So how can we claim to, listen, I'm not here to fucking turn anybody against anybody else. I'm just showing exactly what, how I've come to this conclusion. Now, another point that I want to bring up, and I'm not from this area, okay? I'm not. However... I do remember Flava coming out, telling everybody that her daughter was in a wreck. She hit black ice. This was kind of the biggest thing. She said she hit black ice in February when it was like four, when it was like fucking 40 degrees, which whatever. Um, hold on and I'll show you. I mean, it is misfortune, but see, if we don't do fuck shit like this, then we give nobody else anything to run with. But if I keep... If I keep shutting my mouth and staying silent and not doing the right thing, I haven't felt good about myself since. To be honest, I don't like fucking keeping things from people. Especially when I know somebody's doing something that is not right. Now again, what y'all choose to do with it after this, that's your choice. But just know, like, I don't know how much, of, much more of a choice I would have been given now. Allow me to pull up another piece of, I guess, proof of what Flava said, not I. Yeah, the report number does also go with the date, which does not match. Um, Actually, let me pull up that clip. It's a 12 minute clip of Flava showing everybody her medical record portal. I'm not gonna play the whole entire thing. However, I will play just that part where she's pulling it up. This was a recording that I had taken way back when we were still with Bombshell, right? Flava's medical records were being questioned, and it's very hard to see, so I do apologize. However, this is where I got this from. 
my health record, St. Bernard. Okay, I'm going to type, check my health record, and report. Sorry, I can't flip this. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? I don't think, hold on, let me see if I can rotate it. Nope. What do we have here, you guys? This is her pulling up her mind. Okay. So you see, December the 16th, 2021. Then the next time I was at St. Bernard's was March the 13th of 2023. Okay. What? So let's go. See, hold on a second. Let me, let me pause this. Let me pause this. This has been something that I've been seeing where K9 had said something about wanting to see her medical records. Did you know that I didn't even know that you were in an accident until Bad Medicine sent me the pictures? And I said, oh my God, that's terrible. What what would the reasoning be to dig like let's let's, let's go here. Let's let's look at Let's let's check this out. No, it doesn't need to be friction between the subs. Okay. I don't want any of the subs to feel any sort of way, but this is exactly what <laughs> So we have my personal records here. We have my name, Patterson Alicia. My middle name is Nicole. My middle name is Nicole for anybody that just wants to know, you know. Admit date. 314 of 23. Chief complaints. Right sided weakness. Okay, my physical exam, I was awake and alert. Speech let me just keep going. I chose them. And then I start commenting and it, whatever. But this is where this, this is where this information came from. Flava's live stream that she presented it. She presented that other one. So here's where I got this screenshot, okay? And it's very hard to see and you won't be able to freaking make it out. However, this is the one where the same, this is exactly where she got it from. Now, when she came to us, right? And she was telling us about this accident. It was said that and I don't know the hospitals in the area, that she went from community hospital. And so that's that brings me to another point, Holly, actually. Um, I really, I tried to have another conversation with Flava after all of this. And initially, it had been agreed to. However, then it was like, nah, I could be cordial with Paige, but I'm not interested in having a conversation. Why? Why? So here I am. So after the conversation, which, mind you, Flava, um, I'm assuming that you went with, you know, what you had said initially because of my community post that was, I don't know, about Bombshell and Texas Girl, bro. I was talking to them. If I had something to say to you, I would have tagged your ass too. Stop playing. You were looking for a reason to try and get everybody to hate me which if they do they do i don't expect everybody's love and attention and i know there's people that can't stand me and i know there's also people that love like do like me and even still if you love us both you love us both i don't want anybody to choose that's fucking childish and when i when i say something i say it because i stand on it okay yeah, that's exactly what it was, Zero. It was bad medicine trying to throw me under the bus and get everybody against me um, in order to try and save herself. Yeah, please just don't. This isn't about Jenny. None of this is about Jenny. It's not about fucking bombshell. It's not about bot. I'm just, there's certain comparisons that are being made, but that's about it. Oh, Sharon, you can bet your ass she ain't gone. She's around. Trust and believe. This has been hard for a lot of people. You only brought it to JJJ because Bad Med was going to throw her under the bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was leaving me out for dead. She fucking, she was good. Because, all because I had real life and I couldn't fucking answer her anymore. And all of the bullshit that was thrown all over, all over my shit. Like, every, I would get a million fucking text messages. A million fucking, it was, it's the craziest thing. The whole point is, is that, um, that's what I'm saying. When I say I'm against something, I am against it all the way around. Well, because Bad Medicine had already freaking started airing shit out, so I was going to get it out. Did Texas Girl ever release anything from Bad, and was it all about Flava? Um, seen it before, I don't know fully. Released, but 
either way. I mean, she was trying to save her ass. So, um, to be honest with you, so much shit happens on this, like, around here daily that I had been on a phone call with Bad Medicine. This was weeks later, okay? This was all, this is well after we had all fucking already said that, oh my God, that's crazy, that's fake, it's bullshit, blah, blah, blah. And so we were on the phone and she had said something along the lines of being responsible for the BDSM shit. And I said, don't fucking do that shit. That's dangerous. That's not, that's not making a freaking, you know what I mean? Sending a pizza to somebody's house. That's, just, that's insanity. That's crazy. That can put somebody in danger. And then um, she started on a completely different topic because she had gotten pissed off at me that I wasn't cool with her doing that. And to be honest with you, it kind of got pushed in the back of, I'm trying to remember the timing that she told me that she had done that. And again, I don't have any proof, I guess, of her doing it other than her word. Okay. However, let's see. Bad Medicine has been doing fucking shady shit behind everybody's back for quite some time. See, here's the thing. Let me just see when it was that I warned. Because I initially said to Flava, be careful, and she kept her as her managing mod. I did I did say some but um I did issue fair warning, especially when that whole freaking mod thing had been going on. No, I did answer her question actually. Um and I say it. I didn't say anything because it was kind of dropped and never brought up again until just recently. And not only that, but if you look down at the medication, uh, Percocet is not spelled correctly. That's just another side blurb. Um, that was also, you know, something I caught. All right. Let me find this portion because in between, let's see. No, Dirk, I was at the hospital all day. I'm like, hey, Tanner, how you doing? And I'm just gonna play the audio. Like, where out? I am. Where out though? No Valentine's Day, no nothing. I didn't get nothing. They, they gave my daughter another uh, pint of blood last night. Like I said, I'm just going through the motion right now, y'all. That's all I'm doing. Just going through the motion. Yeah, my my daughter, she had a wreck. She had a wreck. They, they before yesterday, morning, they uh, got her out the hospital. Yeah, they had a wreck. 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 Yeah, they had it almost passed now, so they went and did a, a, a CT scan on it and found out that she had a, a major tear in her spleen. So they then rushed her to the med and she had emergency surgery, had to get her spleen removed. Yeah, so y'all know I have just been going through a lot. Tear in her spleen. So they then rushed her to the med. All right, so that was kind of one of the points that I wanted to point out. Hot tea, um, not after the live. We had a phone call, I believe, the next day. Um, however, by the time we were all able to get together and um, allowed to speak, I had 10 minutes before I had to go and um, do something with my family. So there wasn't much talking. And when it was brought up, when it was brought up on another conversation um, or to have another conversation so that I could actually get out what I was trying to say, that conversation had been denied. This exact, this is only me doing what I feel is right. Now, I want to bring up this point. The med is not St. Bernard's. This live was February 5th, the 15th of February was this live. And it was taken down because at the end of it, she played the halftime routine from the Super Bowl. I think also I have a right to speak my piece, I suppose. And I understand if y'all still want to hang you know hang in both spots what that's your decision you're adults um and again you don't have to be in here if i'm speaking you know what i mean something that makes you uncomfortable i understand but yeah so she was transferred to the med from the community hospital then back to bernard's for discharge i don't know the discharge summary should have came from the med with that being said i mean i don't know if you see it you see it if you don't it's because you don't want to. I, again, I'm not here to change anybody's mind. That's not my, I guess, intention on all of this. Yeah, I understand how it came across. Um, I just, like, listen, my loyalty lies, sweet pea. My loyalty lies with, I guess, those that are loyal to me. And it wasn't so much about that whole situation, okay? 
um, it was more so like you literally real life dug on my family. You pulled up my grandmother's obituary, okay? You've done this time and time again, and now you're claiming to make, um, I guess was I a little bit salty? Yeah, but it had nothing to do with me being upset that Flava gave my message messages to Bombshell. I mean, I kind of had moved past that and carried on well after that and was fine with it, but when I feel like something's not right and there's, I guess, stories being told and people are... You know, I feel like it's comparable to, I don't know. I don't know. I understand it made me seem salty and I can see, and then it kind of makes me lose credibility. And that's not why any of this happened. But at the end of the day, if you're going to ask, and I say that way too much, at the end of the day, it irritated the ever loving hell out of me when I was listening back to the way it went. But I just wanted honesty. Like, I just wanted to be truthful in what I've seen and what I know. And let me just show y'all. And it's the side by side is quite blurry. So I do apologize. But I do just want to put out like, this is the side by side of exactly what was given to everybody on YouTube. Listen, the one thing that struck me odd on that is that Jenny has been sent and again, I don't mean to bring Jenny into it, but Jenny was sent a lot of stuff from Flava um, regarding, you know, certain things. So why wasn't this evidence sent to Flava? <laughs> Everybody can do whatever they want with this information. Take it what you will. At the end of the day, I just hope that when it comes to situations like this and somebody's coming to you with what is said to be a tragedy, um, you just kind of take a double thought before giving your hard-earned money i guess i don't know so was the daughter discharged discharged from the local hospital feeling woozy and then went to the bigger hospital no not the way she presented it the way she presented it was she was transferred from the one hospital into the other yeah my, my daughter she had a wreck she had a wreck day before yesterday morning she um uh, hit the bridge and they took her to the community hospital for, at first, and all she had was a broken wrist and a broken reel. And then she started getting lightheaded, and, and almost had a snap. So they went and did a, a CT scan on it and found out that she had a, a major tear in her spleen. So they then rushed her to the med, and she had emergency surgery, had to get a spleen removed. Yeah, so y'all know I have just been going through a lot. Thank y'all so much for y'all prayers. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. I really do. So that paperwork should have there should be transfer paperwork from one hospital to the other and i mean either way the discharge summary wouldn't be from this hospital that she showed us that it was from now if you add to it the TikTok, i don't know how correct that is however here's my problem right when this is what made me uneasy in the first place right was simply the fact that um she had been presenting the situation like it was in my opinion her younger daughter because one of the comments that was made um was that she just got her license last year now that would have been her younger daughter not her older daughter that there's just a lot of like discrepancies in the story itself and then add in the paperwork and i knew that my gut i guess was correct if that makes sense so let me go ahead and that's the way i see it as well the report date was from this year and um so it was first like it was first presented that it was the younger daughter and then it was like all of a sudden oh just kidding it's the older one that's kind of what threw me for the biggest loop out of all of it but again i had no proof so i'm not gonna come out here with no proof that's what i thought so let me go ahead and just read i guess this discharge summary i'll i mean i'll show them side by side again and it's literally like a copy and paste i guess in my opinion from her stroke paperwork 
but I will go ahead and also read what, when proof is put in front of me, I can't unsee it. Flava didn't attempt to explain any of it. She said, my friend saw proof and wasn't showing anything else. And I think, honestly, it was also, like, it felt weird that she was deflecting against what everybody had been saying about the record she showed onto something about her husband. Like, I'm not understanding. Again, I'm not around all the time, but I'm not understanding how it got to be talking about her husband. I don't know. How come one side was blacked out and the other side where it had person? Okay, so for this, this is exactly how uh, Flava presented it to everybody outside of the circle around the doctors that was added. However, um, so there's the yellow is from searching because I was trying to locate the screenshot fast. So I searched it. Um, and so that's why that's highlighted. Otherwise, Flava blacked out the other information. This is nothing that I went looking for. Flava shared all of this stuff herself. She didn't have to. She could have said, fuck y'all people and get nothing. And I, honestly, at that point, if she didn't show any of this, I didn't have any, I didn't have anything to go off of. I just had my gut feeling. This is exactly, it's just me taking what Flava said or showed to everybody on YouTube and putting like it side by side. That's it. That's not digging. Somebody said there was an accident report for that day. How do you know? Well, um, let's see. Bad Edison um, shared a screen recording of searching for that, for the accident. I mean, <laughs> y'all can do that for yourself. It's a public uh Department of Transportation website. I'm not gonna do it because I don't really care. Just like um, I showed on Jenny's panel where Bad Medicine had sent me absolutely everything about Flava's freaking child's father and everything. Everybody's saying I've done all of this digging and I haven't even done a lick of it and I don't even care to because it doesn't mean that much. If it's not on YouTube, I'm not gonna freaking go searching for it because I don't have time for that shit. Nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, I only listen to this in my ear and I have a freaking memory that is very great. Okay, listen, I'm, a liar is a liar to me. I mean, this right here should be enough proof for people. If it's not, then that's on them. But I'm just saying, this is what I've got. This is exactly what I've gone off of. Nothing more, nothing less. End of story. Okay, now, and that's the thing, Sweet Pea. And it's because I think I think a lot of it's because people like Flava and like, it's not that I dislike Flava, which is why I wanted to talk with her about what was going, like what had been going on. I wanted to have a conversation with her. However, when she declined, what else am I supposed to do? Be sat around and be told, be called a liar and told, um, you know, doing all of the shit that I said and I haven't. I mean, there's enough contradictions in what Flava said herself and shown herself that I didn't have to go very far. Not for nothing. I'm gonna read this. So we're gonna just go here, right? And look at the medical record number. As you can see right here, it says SM0597-8341. Okay, and this is the one Flava showed for her daughter. Then I want you to look here at the medical record number where it is SM0597-8341 same okay um and so that is just number one and this isn't the same one that i got it from however either way it still freaking matches okay so then we've got you know look at the font 19 females like that's a little suspicious the admin date Okay, look at the slashes in that one, but we have no slashes in this one. Never mind the fact that it is fucking, she came home allegedly on the 19th. So two days later, that's incorrect. There's something that's just not right with this whole situation. And I don't know what the, like, what drove this. And this is why I wanted to have this conversation with Flava. Not, not sitting here talking to absolutely everybody else, but I wanted to have this conversation with Flava. And yet, I feel like she declined my offer to have a conversation because um, she knew where I was going with said conversation. Now, once again, she is saying she purposely didn't show you her real paperwork. Well, she showed everybody this. 
This wasn't just for me. This was simply for absolutely everyone. So why she would make fake paperwork and then show it to everyone is fucking absolutely beyond me. And that is probably the dumbest comment I've ever heard. She knew we'd dig on her daughter, so she showed fake paperwork. That's fucking insanity. I'm just saying, the math ain't mathing. Either way, the math ain't mathing. Again, I'm not asking anybody to um, choose sides. This is just me speaking my piece. I'm, after this, I mean, if y'all have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. I mean, it has literally spiraled to the point where she has stated completely, like, numerous different stories numerous not just one and it's upsetting because i just wish she would own it and maybe there'd be a way to carry on i don't know what created this issue what has been going on but either way i don't i don't like the lion shit i don't fucking like scammers whether it's somebody close or not i won't say there wasn't an accident i don't know but there's a lot of holes in this whole situation and that's what i'm saying she don't have to own it because people actually believe her BS. And that's... Hey, that's on them. Now she showed fake paperwork to begin with. Come on, for fuck's sakes. You stood on that paperwork being real on Jenny Jens and it said Paige changed it. Now it was never real. That says all to me. Flavia just showed a text where she sent you a picture of the wreck, but you said you didn't see anything, so it's fake. What? Okay, she sent me a picture of a vehicle, right? Yeah, there's a car in the picture. Hold on. I'll, sh I'll show you the whole screenshot. It's craziness. All right, so Gemini Mama, listen, here's how, this is the thing, right? I had been freaking myself working on putting said proof together um, to be able to put out. However, when Bad Medicine decided she was going to go ahead and tell Flava all that she had done, because at that point, you know, she had to put it all on me. Um, I, I couldn't do anything at that point. I couldn't show everything in the video that I was going to. I don't know how to explain it, but it wasn't, I was trying to hold it in. I just haven't had the time to be able to do this and put it out. I'll show the entirety of the messages and why I got a little suspicious. There's one thing I, that I heard said that is so true. If Flava didn't care about scamming, why do you think she'd care about a bunch of strangers on the internet? I'm just saying. And I wish the best for her. And I hope some way, if something's going on, I'm going to show you these text messages. Then I got to end. I got shit to do. A life to live. That is not the stupid ass YouTube shit. You know? Okay. That said, here we are. So at 1040 on the 13th, I texted her and said, are you up? She said, no, I'm at the hospital. My daughter had a wreck this morning. I said, is she okay? Yes. She just got out of emergency surgery. She had a bleed, a broken rib, and broken wrist. What's up? I said, oh my God, my heart sank. When he said that, she's good now. Surgery went okay. Poor girl's not going to want to get into a car. Yes, she is. She hit some black ice on the bridge this morning and lost control. The truck is totaled. Okay? The truck is totaled. Then I was telling her about was talking about her. Okay? Now, here's this. Yep, she sent me a photo of a car. Does that look like a truck? Hmm, the truck is totaled out. That's a car. That a, is that a truck? No. Uh, I said, oh my God, thank God she's okay. There's the top of that message. She said, I said, cars can be replaced. Our babies cannot. She said, I was crying my ass off. She had a tear in her spleen, but she just got out of surgery and is doing okay now. I'll keep you updated. Lord, I said truck. It's been a long day. That's when I just chalked it up to, well, maybe she's not lying. She probably just, you know, I don't know. Maybe she was tired. Now she's walking back everything. Because that's, what other choice does she have? What other choice is there? I mean, listen, if there's not, like, you admitted to faking medical records now, right? Now they're fake. But I'm supposed to be the asshole still? I'm just wondering. I'm still the asshole when she presented fake information. I'm, I'm really wondering how this is going to, like, how this plays out. Where are we? The funny thing about lies is that one spirals into a hundred and eventually you done told on yourself. So with that, with that being said, I'm going to go do my real life shit. Not give a fuck about this YouTube bullshit. Well, folks, 
That's the entirety of Paige's side of the story. I'm sure there will be more to add in the future. We appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to watch the video. Keep a lookout on our Rumble channel for a recap of Flava's livestream done right after this one aired. Behave yourselves, hug your loved ones, and we will see ya in these crazy YouTube streets.